Social Security is set to have a massive increase in 2023. And a question we've been getting from a lot of folks is how much are my benefits going to go up? And honestly, are Social Security benefits keeping up with inflation over time? Today, we're going to discuss what retirees should know. Stay tuned. Hey there, it's Alex and Anthony from One Degree Advisors. If you are new here, we are certified financial planners that help folks with all things tax, retirement, and investment related. Anthony, inflation, again, it's still kind of the topic people are talking about. It's very hot. And so retirees that, you know, Social Security is a big source of their retirement income can be a little bit concerned about inflation, right? Is my Social Security benefits going to keep up with inflation? How much will my Social Security benefits increase in 2023? Yeah, prices going up, food, gas, energy, these types of things. It's, it's definitely a concern for retirees. Now, the good news is that experts are estimating that the cost of living adjustment for Social Security will go up about 8 to 10%. Mm -hmm. So for the average Social Security earner, that's about $1,800 per year. And that's a good increase. And that's good. I think in 2022, what COLA was about... 5.9%. So right now, things are still in this limbo mode where we don't know right. exactly what it will be. But when will we know more finalized numbers for 2023? Yeah, once the, the end of September inflation numbers come out. So the Social Security Administration is, is scheduled to announce that on October 13th. Mm -hmm. And that's when we'll know the actual number going up for 2023. The good news, too, is that even if you're age 62 or older and you're deferring Social Security, in other words, you're still putting it off, you still get that actual increase in your calculated number. Yeah, and that's important for people to know. The other thing I'd add here is that um, these cost of living adjustments or the increases right to Social Security are always playing catch up. Right. So you know you have to deal with higher higher prices in the meantime to get a raise year after year. That, again, that's just the way the system is set up. Um, but let's go into the second part of this, which is you know again I'm a retiree. Social Security is a big chunk and a big part of my income. And so when I see how these high inflation numbers, it's like, yeah, I see my benefits could be going up. But the question is, is does Social Security historically keep up with inflation? Can I count on it to do that? Yeah, the short answer is is no. And there's a study that the Senior Citizens League, uh, Mary Johnson, she produces this study every year, updates it. And it basically says that since 2000, Social Security recipients um, have lost about 40% of wow. their buying power. Wow. So that's a pretty big chunk. I mean, if you put that in, in real terms, for every retiree that spent $100 back in, in 2000 on groceries, they can only spend $60 today to get the same amount. Yeah. Now, for a lot of retirees, not all, but a lot, you know, like medications and Medicare is right. a really big piece of their expenses in retirement. And I think from the data that we're looking at, and we'll, we'll post that report, like you said, but Medicare, you know, eats into quite a bit of these increases. Right. And that should be the same expectation going forward is that when you see this cost of living adjustment, it could also mean that Medicare premiums mm -hmm. are increasing. I think last year it increased 14.5%. So that ate into the cost of living adjustment more than the five and five point nine percent. Yeah, it becomes increase. a fraction of that, but it becomes a it becomes a big chunk. So your net amount, you're really not getting the full benefit of that cost increase. Yeah, and this is so important because if historically Social Security has not kept up with the pace of inflation, right. then we need to be prepared and we need to plan for this gap. So how do we do that? Yeah, so let's really talk about about three things. Number one is the cost of living adjustment for this upcoming year. Don't treat it like a windfall. Make sure mm -hmm. we're using it for increased expenses for those necessities. That way your budget really stays intact. Yeah, a lot of people will see that headline number right. that make them, oh man, I got a, an eight or 10% raise in retirement. Well, it's just kind of keeping up. Yeah, and that may be mostly. intuitive if you're already feeling the pinch on those expenses, but just being proactive with that. And number number two is make sure to monitor the cost of living adjustments for the, from your other income sources. We recently just posted another video, High Inflation and Retirement, Do These Three Things. It was really focused deeper on that, which is basically like if I line up all my different income sources, whatever they may be, rental income, if I'm getting a pension, even my investment withdrawals, what is the... Um, the inflation rate that I'm able to take from mm -hmm. that or really like the increase to keep up with inflation. Yep. 
And then the third and final thing is just plan for the future. Yeah, and that's where you want to widen out. So you definitely want to look at this year and say here and now is most important, but is it sustainable? What am I looking for in the future? Am I projecting out my income to make sure I don't run out of money? Because you don't want to put yourself in a worse situation down the road. Yep. And now let us know what you think. Are your Social Security benefits keeping pace with inflation? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.